All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Warwick in the top lane, we're running Lethal Tempo, Presence Mind, Alacrity, Last Stand, Second Wind, and Revitalize. We're going full crit Warwick. Somebody in the comments have been asking for it for over 300 days now, maybe more, and we're going to play it finally. I did the move speed Warwick. We'll do the crit Warwick too. I'm going to go Essence Reaver as my first item because I want to just Q Chomp, and I'm going to use so much mana. So I definitely need that. Or in Shield of Kali. Oh. Well, she doesn't even use mana, so... I don't know what to do. We'll do... I think we'll do Quick Blades, because Infinity Edge might not crit on my alt and my Q. Uh, she's going to hit two first because of her pushing power. Maybe not. Yeah. She's a very annoying champion, but I think we'll be able to fight her. I have my barrier secret weapon. The lower I get... Oh, she's going for it. Okay. That's good. Ignite's down. And I still have a potion. Take the E. I dare ya. Oh, no. I don't think we could do anything because he's so low. That means Belvet's going to gank or Kali's going to TP back. I'll beat you too. I'm not even going to bury her. I'm such a power move player. The power of Warwick top. I actually thought I was going to have to bury her and barely survive against Belduff. Hey, I got a blue buff. Alright, that's huge because the hardest part of early game is I don't have any mana to keep queuing. And now I does. Whatever, keep throwing those stupid knives at me. They ain't doing anything. Uh, Belveth might come back. I still have my flash. I think I can beat her. You're not winning this, I hope you know that. <laughs> okay. We're trying to fight a Warwick top when you're three levels behind him. Man, I'm gonna have that Essence Reaver so fast now. Alright, well... I'm gonna need that though, because... They got three sniper champs, and I'm not going to be able to get too close to them without dying with this build. I'm going to be so squishy. I only need like 600 more for this Reaver. I didn't even have to bury her flash, and I 1v2'd him twice now. Hovering over this ability to see the range, and I can use it when she's in range, so I can get more move speed to lane. Honestly, this wave might be worth more than her. Oh, 
Warwick's here. Run in fear. Not the best idea, but at least he's still alive. Come here. I thought she died. She like disappeared. Jump. Or what happened there? I don't even know what happened. Where's the Zareth? Yo! Wait a second. Bro, chill. I didn't even... There you are. An ally has been slain. All right, you want some too? Uh oh, he's got barrier. Come on. Oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I wasted barrier and flash. I shouldn't have flashed. I was slowed. And get on a turret. Uh oh, we got a Reaver. And then. I'm either going cooldown boots or mercs. I don't know. Hmm. Mercs might be decent for the Zareth Lux. We'll see. Cooldown boots might be the move, though. They're on this. Yeah, we're going quick blades next. I might try and throw in a Kraken Slayer third or second, though. We could do Kraken Slayer. Probably better to get the quick blades out of the way early, though. If I get 51 mana back, and my Q costs 80 mana, so I'm only losing 30 mana for the full heal now. And I get even more healing when I get one more level in the ability. Can't reach her, though. She can just infinitely press Q. And I can infinitely press Q. Well, not infinitely, but... Press Q for a while. I mean, she'll miss a lot of minions if I just let her Q the wave and then I walk up in between. It's gonna take a lot to take me out. I mean, if I grabbed a Bloodthirster second item, I'd have infinite healing. Don't even come up here. Did I get the cannon? We could fight in River. I just... Ganking in Akali is, like, never going to work out. Warwick's coming! Wow. They, like, instant builder. Got stunned. Chomped. Chomp comp. I didn't lose my wave. There's a Pinkerton. I don't know. I don't think my Q crits. It does not. We'll just keep queuing. Maybe one time it'll crit. Kraken Slayer works pretty well with my Q and Alt, though. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I'll do the Kraken Slayer. I could use attack speed. What other crit items? I might need Shield Bow for defense. I mean, I can get Shield Bow Blood Thirst to be really... have a lot of healing, but once they see those items, they might be able to uh, anti-heal. He's 
just got her. Oh, he has that guy too. Zareth can't fight somebody who's on top of him. Probably gonna run into the early FF though. Belvet's not having fun time. Proxy. I have infinite healing. I don't have a good wave clear, but it's not like I'm gonna take damage. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's back to full health. What happened? I was not expecting the Zareth up there. I mean, with my W Max, Kraken Slayer could about a lot of damage. The issue is, like, am I even going to be able to auto attack these people? Like, Akali's going to go invisible and dash away. I mean, as long as I can just cure and then walk away, I'm gonna heal back up. You could hit everything on me here and I won't die. Oh, I thought I cued her. Please stop. Uh, lag. Whoopsies. Mm. He's ulting for me, dude. I want to help him, but I don't want to die too. Because, like, if Akali gets my shutdowns, she might be too hard to deal with later. Akali altered me, I think, when uh, I was under turret. I got her tower. Alright, we got a Kraken Slayer. Quick Blades is another thousand gold if I wanted that. I mean, I could do attack speed shoes. The Mercs, still, aren't I? Or Swifty? I'll just get the Mercs. Because I'm gonna get Lux rooted, Varus ulted, Zareth stunned, and then the MR will help verse them too.
I got juked. Come here. Still at ult? Yeah, they're definitely gonna build heal reduction. We have a, a rocket too. Oh wait, I'm right here. I didn't know that was me. <laughs> I was like, who's that under turret? Need to land an alt. Be gone. I'm really squishy, so like if they actually catch me, I'm gonna die. I do a lot of damage though if I can stick on someone. I can activate the Kraken Slayer with my Q and my ult. Oh, we gotta run. Oh, we gotta really run. Oh, there's no turret. I'm dead. God damn it. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Warwick's base move speed is like so damn slow. I just can't get out of anything. That's so rough. She has a Shirelia's, man. And then Bell does flash for me, too. I can 1v1 anybody, but I'm never going to get a 1v1. That's the problem with this build. They're always going to send multiple people. But I can maybe clean up fights. We do have a lot of CC and engage. Save him. the mercs I'm still just can't move in these fights. Ferris got away. That stupid spell shield man. I can't beat him. I have to Q him to break the spell shield. And then I don't have Q to kill him. Like, what do I do? Still has all. Just get out alive, bro. All the way. Where is it? What is this pathing? Oh my god. How? She randomly just moved. Going back in. Please! Why am I so slow? I can't even auto her. Yes! Get the kills! Huge! Get her too! Let's go! Yes! Get the dragon! Oh my god, this is so hard to play. I knew it was gonna be difficult with these champs. I'm literally on top of her, but I still can't even hit her. 
I have to like just perm a side lane. I'm not playable in team fights. Only clean up. Their whole team just runs. And it, since I don't have any tank or like life steal or whatever in my build or move speed, I just get kited. At least Vagar's online. Vagar got good kills there. Akram needs to stop, like, trolling, though. He keeps going in 1v5 and getting them all to chase him. I mean, they're just going to A-Ram mid, so I'll just split. And then maybe I'll get ahead in level more. But I'm not even ahead anymore. I think I need to split bombs. Hey. You really don't want to ARAM, but that might be our only option. Because they're just going to keep sieging with all their poke. They still have turret, we can't fight this. We we won't win, they'll just hide under the turret. Coming back. Holly's coming down. No, 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 you're walking into her. Wait, what the hell? There's a Lux here. I don't care. I had to flash. Come here, minions. I'm so slow, maybe we need that Phantom Dancer, but it's still gonna be miserable. I got Quick Blades, Belvet's here, that means somebody else is here. I get 1v1 her. It's just, it's not a 1v1. There's a Zareth here too. Luckily, Akali's not a good, like, split pusher, so she can stay in the side lane all she wants. A yeah, spirit might be good, but they they picked up the anti heal. Two people now, three people. Looking somewhat promising. killed all five of them. Did the Zareth kill not count? Ooh, if we can get an inhib here, this would be so good. Oh my god. Dragons up. We probably have to give it. 
We could do Baron while they're at it. I'll start this and we'll see. Uh, I don't know why everybody had to recall first. Uh, now we can't do it. They might know they're coming back. No, they're not. They're still. We got turret mid. Okay, they don't know. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nice. All five of them are on dragon. Huge macro play. Huge. Wait, what do I have? I have a full item on. Uh, maybe we would try the PD. This is so troll, but I'll go a little bit faster. I think I might need to go Bloodthirster last or Cringe Bow. Cringe Bow might be a little bit better for the shield so I don't get bursted. Or we could chill at 80% and buy an actual item. My Q's hurting. Kraken Slayer has done 2k damage. He's actually doing something. I mean, we could just dive this guy, no? He lost Junks. I mean, they're not grouped right now, so this is our chance to just... Inflict as much damage as we can to their team at base. Why is this shooting? Damn, that heal is huge. I think I'm healing more because the quick blades is making the Q do more damage. I don't know. Oh, what are we getting last? X plate would be kind of funny. Rapid fire for more move speed. Ah, let's just get the BF. I'm gonna get the most damage. When they're grouped up as five, that's when I'm the weakest. I can't engage on five people. And they'll poke us down. Jinx is split pushing. I really need to go split push. Go top, guys. Why does this guy just like keep going in alone, man? Can you just like wait for the team? You're gonna die too. What are you guys doing, bro? He just got caught. What makes you think you could walk into their base? Okay, listen. You four go top. How is it that hard to like know how to push? He doesn't have all. Wow, I ulted really bad there. Alright, oh, yeah, that's my fault. I shouldn't have ulted in the Belveth. I should have barriered, though. I really didn't think I'd get one shot, but who knows? Oh, I did one. I'm just tilted. 
I'm so tilted. This Hecarim just keeps trying to throw the game as hard as possible every time he goes in alone. So tilting, man. I actually got insta-killed there. I should have just ulted Varus right away. Uh, what do we do? Alright. We need to regain composure. Still have Vagar. Oh, that's really fed. Dude, they have five anti-heal items. Four. I mean, we can fight for this. But I think they're already on it. And Jinx is magically on the other side of the map again. They have so much better, like, team play. We literally just can't get people to be in the right spot. Jinx is literally on the other side of the map every second of the game. She's splitting top when I need to be splitting top. She's in base when we're all at dragon. Like, what the hell is she doing? We're just gonna slowly lose because they know how to stand as five. I can't defend that. They shouldn't get another turret though. They're all gonna go for me now. They're on Baron. We're AFK in base again. Damn. Yeah, my team's so bad. What can I do? Uh, steal the Baron or something. We got an injured, but they're all gonna recall. I'm just so pissed because this all started with Hecram just running and dying and throwing off our whole momentum. All he had to do was just not do that. Well, I guess we let them siege and somehow we try to kill them. Velvet's not there. They should just be able to wave clear. Good stun. Should be able to pick someone here. If I ult in, I'll just instant die. Oh, we got him off. If Hecarim just went in a second earlier when I did, we would have had him. Velvet's splitting. Oh my god. Maybe we can win now if we kill the rest of them? Oh my god, he's pushed them away, okay. 
There we go, finally, dude. Okay, let's go bot and end this. See, like, we should have done that ten minutes ago. But no, we gotta go in one by one. Fox is up, she's gonna ult the wave. Like, we just win that easy, but how is it so damn hard to actually get a fight? So annoying. I don't know. I just hate when people join the games and do the exact opposite of what I tell them to do. Like, why even play with me if you're going to do the exact opposite? Oh, Vagar did well. Ekram was all our damage too, but he unfortunately wanted to go 1v5. 42k damage. Healed almost as much. I healed 37k. Here's our rune stats, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe. See you later.